How's it guys? Stuart Taylor here. Welcome to 2020. How crazy is this thing? Like, I thought last year was bad. You know, I thought 2019, whoo, that's a terrible year. But then 2020 was like, mm -mm, hold my beer, I'll show you what I can do. And the one thing is for certain we could all do with a bit of a laugh right now. So what I've been doing, I've been trolling the internet, finding some of my favorite funny friends, and I've put them all together in a little collection, just to help us have a bit of a laugh. guys, my name is Mel Jones and I thought I'd give you some makeup tips during this time of Corona in case you don't know what to do with your face. So you'll need some brushes, you will need some foundation and concealer, blush, powder, mascara, lipsticks, eyeshadow, I prefer nudes. And you'll also need a box and then you'll take the lid off the box, put all of this makeup into the box, put the lid on the box, put the box and the makeup away because what do you need makeup for? Where are you going? Your face is fine the way it is. That was the hilarious Mel Jones. I once told Mel Jones that she'd drawn her eyebrows on a little bit too high. She looked very surprised. Guys, I'm a parent, right? And this homeschooling thing is becoming a little bit much. Like the first day, I was, uh, was stressful. I was looking at my son, I'm like, come on, boy, come on. Poor boy is just looking up at me. I said, come on, we put in an effort. We're a, we, we a team. I said, boy, we're in this together. Come on, do your best. I said, listen, man, I know it's tough, but just, I almost understand it. Just explain this fraction thing to me one more time. In fact, I think my boy, Jim Atkins, described it best. Take a look. Boy, we're doing maths now and I'm gonna help you. Okay, give me this, let's have a... I did maths in school, I'm good at maths. Question one. Why are you doing matric maths? What is... Oh, this says grade six. Oh, that's fine. We can do this. No, we cannot have a break for Xbox. No, it's been two minutes. Do you need anything that requires long division? Because I can do that. You know what, let's just use a calculator. You're not allowed to use a calculator. We don't believe in technology. It's evil. Fine. You know what, let's, we'll just, I can, I can do this. You know what, let's use the calculator. I'll write you a note. Okay, that was wrong. Let's just go on to question two. That's fine. No, we cannot just Google it. Yeah, you know what, let's Google it. Okay, stop crying. Stop crying. We'll, we'll figure this out. Even Google doesn't know. You know what? Not everyone needs to be a doctor. Let's... Have you got any plumbing homework? So here's the plan. You can lunge with your trash can outside. You see? Like that. I got it, Indra. Like that. Oh! Hello, Mariki, no! Oh! Oh, is it Monday today? I do love your fitness tips, Carmen. They are amazing. In fact, they're making me miss gym. I love going to gym, guys, but mainly to make fun of people who are there. Like, I saw a guy on a treadmill not so long ago, and he actually, <laughs> he put a bottle of water <laughs> into the Pringles holder. <laughs> oh, I miss it. Listen, talking about fitness, the man who knows the most about fitness has got to be my boy, Coach Dalen. So over to you, champ. Ha! I'll change Coach Dalen. And I'm here to pay a surprise visit to our favorite pro rugby players during the rugby break. Everyone's doing these fitness challenges, so I thought I'd pop in and see if the gents can play the bounce in my never-before-seen high-impact blitz fitness sessions and find out if they're flattening or fattening the curve, if you know what I mean. Today, I'm catching up with a legend, one of my favorites, Sergio Peterson. How are you doing, champ? All good, coach. How's it going that side? All good, my side. If you happy, Sergio, you surviving lockdown, champ? I'm surviving, doing what I need to do during this lockdown, so I'm pumped for the session now. Lovely stuff, Sergio. I, I know that I got a moustache since our last session, but the moustache is the assistant coach, so I'm always watching you, okay? Got a coach here. Okay, lovely stuff, Sergio. So, today I need to see if you're ready to play the bounce. So, I need you to do 10 star jumps. 10 burpees and 10 squats in less than 30 seconds. Do you think you're up for the challenge? I'm up for the challenge, coach. I'm up for the challenge. I think okay, I'm right, Sergio, I'm going to motivate you, champ. We're going to play the bounce. We're going to get ready. 
in three, two, one, action! There we go. Sergio, keep going, fella. I need you to focus like Jean-Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. Okay, don't give up, Sergio. I need you to have faith like a student who's going to pass the maths exam even though they didn't study. Loving the work rate, loving the work ethic. Keep going, champ. You're going to dig deep, okay? You dig deep, my lad. You dig deep. Feel the burn. Feel the burn like your eyes do when you're feeling those onions. You're doing those star jumps and you keep on moving. We're almost near the finish line, Sergio. We are getting there. Let's go, she got it. Sergio Peterson. Yes, my man, you scored the try. Round of applause. Absolute champion, Sergio. I'm always so proud of you. Do you think you fattened or flattened the curve? I went out and I gave my all. So hopefully I could have made a difference in flattening the curve, coach. I definitely think you flattened the curve, Sergio. You look in tip top shape. A man bolt out of bricks. Give yourself a round of applause, fella. Well done. Sergio, thank you so much for playing the bounce and thank you for being the legend that you always are. Oh, good coach. Thanks so much for having me. Jinx, Sergio, those are some incredible burpees. Wow. Blew me away there. I mean, listen, I, I, I don't mind leg day. I do not mind leg day. It's the next two days that I can't stand. And now, my friends, time for a history lesson. I would ask you what the heck you're doing inside a plastic bag, <laughs> but no. Yes. Is a checkers big difference? Synonymous with shopping at grocery stores, spaza shops, and informal traders, it's made its mark and is rich in history. You see, earliest evidence of these checkers can be found in prehistoric rock art in South Africa's Gauteng province. 3,000 years ago, as an ancient plastic bag was being stuffed in a kitchen cabinet, it spoke, and it declared unto others, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And thus, the legacy was born. You see, a regular plastic bag ends up in the ocean. A checkers is destined to end up in a sacred kitchen cabinet, living life among its kin. You see, the world is moving more towards sustainability, but people in the townships have always known. When it comes to your checkers, you treat it like ETV treats the film Anaconda. Reuse and recycle. Thank you, Tyson, for that amazing history lesson. Now you all know what a checkers is, okay? Next time you're gonna find out what the Woolies is. Guys, it's been so much fun hanging out with you. I hope we made you laugh, I hope we made you smile, I hope we made you giggle. Until next time, always remember, okay, that if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you, right? My name is Stuart Taylor. Until I can see you live, guys, I will see you here online.